Well, guys, not a very good day. Not a very good day at all. And this is something that I don't normally do. I don't normally talk to you guys about celebrities who have passed because I feel that it's almost like sacred ground or something. Like you just don't want to tread there. The only times I've ever done that before was with Roger Ebert. And that's obviously because he had a humongous impact on my life. And he meant a lot to me in regards to what I do. But unfortunately today, Robin Williams did pass away at age 63 from an apparent suicide. It's not confirmed yet. But the thing is, I've been trying to figure out how I can... <sighs> I want to talk about this a little bit because I feel that it will be therapeutic for me and maybe it'll be therapeutic for other people out there who are feeling the same way I do. You see... This is what my day was so far. I went to the screening for The Giver, and it was pouring rain, flash flood. You know, I almost didn't make it there. When I got there, I realized that it's actually not starting at 7. What starts at 7 was a red carpet broadcast live, where you got to see the stars, you know, come up and talk to people about the film. Then you got to watch the movie. Jeff Bridges comes up to the podium, and he just starts crying, and we were curious about and he just says my friend just died and the entire theater gasped when the news reporter said yes Robin Williams has been reported passed away and it was really hard to see the dude himself up there just breaking down they made the Fisher King together Robin Williams and Jeff Bridges and um I just sat there with the wind taken out of me because this guy meant so much to me growing up and I want to talk a little bit about that and talk about some of the ways that he affected me so positively. See when I was a kid in school I was the lowest of the low. I'm talking here's the popular kids, here's the middle kids, here's the uncool kids, and then there's me. I got made fun of every day. I was always the punchline of whatever joke someone was making. Overweight, I weighed like 230 pounds. I weigh about 190 now, and I'm 6'4". Like, I was 5'9", five, 5'10", five, then, and I weighed 230. So, imagine that. Super uncool, very unpopular, nerdy kid. I'm still nerdy, but I mean, no friends really in school at all. And I had a few friends outside of school that really helped me enjoy my childhood, but Robin Williams movies, and him as an actor and as a comedian brought so much joy to my life in that time. I'll never forget the first time I saw Aladdin and I automatically wanted a genie as a friend. And not just because you could get wishes, but because it was like a friend. You could just wish up and, and there he was. And I mean, I, Aladdin, he was amazing as the genie, as the voice of the genie. He was incredible. I can't tell you how many times I watched Hook growing up. I adore that movie and to this day I still think it's very underrated but it meant so much to me as a kid because it just it strengthened my imagination it made me want to go to other places it made me want to experience new things and a lot of that was due to Robin Williams portrayal of this man who is so stilted and then just experienced this incredible joy realizing who he really was and I know it's not considered one of his greatest films but growing up Jumanji was always on replay in my house I had the VHS case with the clamshell cover and I would watch Jumanji all the time and I remember the special effects being amazing at the time but now they're pretty terrible but nevertheless Robin Williams portrayal of some of these characters as I grew up really meant so much to me because even if you're not a fan of some of these movies, you can't help but smile when you see that guy. He has the most warm and infectious smile in all of his movies and you just can't help but smile back. It wasn't until I was an adult that I saw films like Good Morning Vietnam and I saw his incredible improv ability. If you ever saw Inside the Actor's Studio, his guest stint on that show was incredible. It was basically like an improv stand-up routine despite the fact that he was talking about his life. But I remember the first time I saw Awake with Robin Williams and Robert De Niro. It was a movie about a doctor who went beyond the generally conceived as okay boundaries to try to experiment on someone who was catatonic. And that movie inspired me a lot in regards to looking at acting very differently because that was one of the first times growing up where I saw someone who was primarily viewed as, as a funny guy be able to deliver such an incredibly heartfelt 
and real performance as a doctor. And of course, De Niro was great in the film, and watching those two legends act in a scene was also incredible. But that movie did really have a profound impact on me. Now, I don't usually like to get too personal in my videos because I find that whenever I do, people just want to rip you to shreds. You know, I experienced a lot of bullying in school, like I said, and I've experienced the same thing on the internet. It happens, and I have no real understanding of why. It just does. And being able to escape into some of Robin Williams' films growing up really helped me deal with that a lot. But there's one that I've been leaving out because it's one that's perhaps had the most profound effect on me, and that was Goodwill Hunting. And as I said, I don't like to get too personal in my videos, and I'm not going to do too much editing in this one because I feel that my best way to describe how I feel is just to show you. I dealt with a lot of guilt growing up at a certain period of my life. I blamed myself for a lot of things. I told myself that I, that a lot of things were my fault that weren't because I have a guilt complex. I tend to blame myself for things that aren't my fault. And it's something that I've dealt with my whole life. And I went through a period when I became an adult where I was really confused about my place in life. And I didn't really know which path to take. And I saw a film called Goodwill Hunting. And there's a scene in Goodwill Hunting where Robin Williams continuously says to Matt Damon over and over again, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. And he's like, no, I, I don't think you understand. It really isn't your fault. Because Matt Damon's character blamed himself for so many different problems that he was dealing with and that other people were dealing with. And he shouldn't blame himself for things that are outside of his control. And it just had an absurd effect on me where I suddenly realized that I was doing the same thing. I was blaming myself for things that weren't my fault. And I realized that I really need to move forward in life and forget about certain things that were weighing me down. And very rarely will I ever say that an actor or an actress was perfect in a scene. But Robin Williams was perfect in that scene. And I, I mean, completely flawless in every way. He embodied that character, and I think it really meant a lot to him because I know that as a person, he dealt with a lot of similar issues. And I have his performance in that film and that script to thank for being able to move on in my life from a kind of dark path. And I thank anyone in my life who's stood by me through that. But going back to the joyous aspect of Robin Williams' career, Mrs. Doubtfire, I mean, just able to embody a character where you were like, it's not going to work, man. Don't take that part. But he made it work. He made it seem so effortless. He just had such an infectious laugh, an infectious smile, a smile that made you want to like and care about that guy. And he really genuinely did seem like he enjoyed making other people happy. And that was something that he did so well. And I wish that he had known how many people, just truly how many people loved him. Because I did love him. I, I've never even met him. And just from seeing his acting and his stand-up, I just, he was so inspiring to me and other people who are gravitating towards comedy. I know a lot of comedians and, and they're just devastated by this because this guy inspired so many people. And I don't want to dwell too much on the sadness of, of this event, but I want to bring out just how much he really did mean to a lot of people. So guys, if you have a movie or an event or anything 
relating to him that really did help you or that meant something to you, comment below and let me know what it is because maybe we can all just start like a group therapy session in which we just, we help each other feel better about this situation. <laughs> Guys, I know this has been a different video and I don't normally do videos like this, but I meant everything that I said and I hope that in some way it had a good effect on you as well because it definitely made me feel a little bit better about this annoying, stupid situation, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm not gonna do my signature catchphrase because I feel that it's a little silly. I'm just gonna say thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.